Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we're going to actually get our other two pieces of equipment. So, um, I haven't seen comments from the last episode, but some of you probably told me that that extra money that I thought the tutorial gave us was actually my money. Uh, because we didn't have enough cash on hand to smelt all of the gold that we had uh, prior to that. So I went ahead and uh, got that done. And so if you look in the upper right hand corner, you can see I have no more gold left, but I do have $15,477. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come into here and we're going to purchase the wave table uh, for $4,000. We want one of those. And uh, we're going to want the magnetite separator as well. That way we can we can use the magnetite to sell to the back blacksmith and, and that's also the currency that we can use to um, uh, upgrade the smelting operation so we don't lose as much and that sort of thing. Okay, so we're going to grab uh, that. And so that gives us those two things. Now I'm trying to think... Uh, oh, we do need another filter, too, because I took the filter off that other thing. I I don't think I have to keep the hog pan set up intact, but I'm going to anyways, because the reason for that is because you can hire um, other miners to, to work for you. And uh, here we go. I want a, one of these. Yeah, so you can hire other miners to work for you, and they, uh, and in a real situation, of course, they would need all of that equipment. So we're just going to keep it, even though we don't technically need it um, for that reason. Okay, so both of these machines are going to need uh, low voltage power cables. Now, I'm trying to remember how many connections are coming out of this generator. We only have one low voltage coming out. Of the Jenny. So we could possibly get. That's just like a coupler. Oh, here we go. A power splitter. Yeah, let's buy a power splitter. Hopefully that generator can handle. If you got try to get too much power from a weak generator, you may damage it. Um yeah, we're, we'll have to keep an eye on that. But hopefully that generator can handle this. I mean, we're not going to be running the magnetite separator and the wash table at the same time. And we don't even really, we won't even really be running the mobile uh, wash unit at the same time either. So we're just going to have to remember to turn that stuff off. All right, so we're going to need two of these to plug both of those guys in because they're both... Uh, that's a water connection. Yeah, that's a low voltage power connection. And this also, I believe, has a low voltage outlet on it over here, maybe. Yeah, right there. Okay, so we'll need two low voltage cables. We're going to need another. Actually, I think we're going to need two more small water hoses. Because we got to run water to both of these guys, too. And I think, I think that's everything. Um... I'm trying to think. We're, we're going to need buckets, too. So we're going to need two buckets for the magnetite separator. I have three buckets on the mobile wash unit already because there's a couple other spots, from what I understand, that you can collect stuff coming off of that besides the main spot. And I think I already set those buckets up. So that, I think, uses all of our buckets. So we're going to need at least two more of these. I think maybe even three more. They're they're inexpensive, so let's just buy three more of those. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, we need a high voltage cable going to that, don't we? Yeah, we got it. Okay, we're gonna need another high voltage cable too. I'm glad I thought to look at that. Okay, I think that's everything we need. I think it is. And if it isn't, you know, we can always come back. It'll be a pain in the neck. But, And that's only Goss in a 6944. We still have plenty of, of cash flow even after that. So let's order all of that stuff and go load her up. Okay, look at that. That's awesome. 
All right, let's get the big guys on first. So this is the largest single piece. Oh, okay, hold on a second. Let's get you guys out of here for the moment. I want to put the put the big guys on first. Eventually, we'll want to get a trailer for hauling more of this stuff, but the pickup truck still seems to be doing the job for the moment. Trying to push it back just a little bit more. All right, I guess that's about as good as the, good as that's going to get. Now, we'll put this right in next to it. Just kind of... Oh, well, that got a little janked. <laughs> All right, now we'll close that. And then um, we'll put this in next. Just stick that there. Stuff the buckets in. The water filter that we'll put back on our original pump. And we got all these cables and hoses. We just have to kind of stuff them in there like we actually would in, the, in real life. So if they do some weird things. Okay, that's in. That one is not. There we go. Oh, let's turn our light on too so we can all see a little bit better. Can I stuff this in here somewhere? Uh, that's... I guess that's okay. All right, so that's all of our new stuff. Let's get our jerry cans back in here. There, that's better. Where'd that other jerry can go? Oh, it's right there. Okay. So this... I'd like to get that in there a little bit better if I can. It doesn't... Uh, there. That works better. Okay, so I think that's everything that we need for the moment. Uh, to f finish our tier two setup. So let's head on back to the ranch and get this stuff set up. It is uh, getting late in the day, so we'll probably sleep before we start mining, but let's see if we can at least get it set up tonight. Okay. Let's leave you right here for now. Okay, so this is, uh, I got everything set back up over here. Uh, this might be a little far away from the excavator, so I don't know. We'll see how it works, but, if, you know, if I have to redo it, then I have to redo it. Uh, but what we're going to do first, uh, we're not actually even going to need this stuff. Let's just kind of put it over here for now. Technically, we should bring that back to the first site for the guy that will eventually hire to take care of that. Uh, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Okay, so I've got the main bucket set up, and I have a bucket at the end of this output and a bucket at the end of this output, too, because from what I understand, we can we can also collect that stuff and, uh, you know, get, get a little more gold from it as well. Uh, okay, so let's see. We want to grab the two big things. So power's going to go in one side, water's going to go in another, but I think what we'll that's a wolf. I haven't actually seen any wild animals uh, in this game. I don't know if they're in there or not. They are in the show, the Discovery show. There's like bears and stuff that they got to mess with all the time. Just trying to get this a little more straightened out here. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to want the switches on, on this side. Okay. Maybe turn it this way just a little more. Okay, that should be good. Now let's take the wave table. And again, we want the switch facing us, uh, which is on this side. Okay. Okay. 
Man, I hope there's not a wolf up there. I have no weapons to defend myself. If there is. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's turning... What the hell? So every time I pick it up, it turns... So I guess we need to go this way then, right? No, this way. Yeah, like that. Um, except for I'd like it to be a little straighter than that. Maybe even just a little bit more this way. Yeah, I know him. Kind of picky about stuff like that. Turn it this way. Ah, that's close enough. That is close enough. We could even move this over a little more, too, just so there's more spacing in between everything. Very good. All right, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab... Let's get the water done first. So we need a couple of these hoses here. And hopefully this little pump can handle all of this. So we're going to hook up to you and bring you around to... Oh, that's backwards again. Darn it. To there. Okay, that's good. I don't know if that valve is on or not. Uh, I guess we won't worry about it until we find out otherwise. Um, let's turn this back around again so the switch is on the outside. Right about there, maybe? Yeah, except for I want to pull it over this way a little more, too. Because otherwise that hopper is going to be kind of in the way when we walk in between those. All right, that should be good. Now let's grab the water hose, this next water hose. And connect over to this. All right, cool. So the water's hooked up. Again, I just hope the pumps can handle it. But again, uh, there's no reason for us to run all three of these pieces of equipment at the same time. Because, yeah, we just don't need to. So we won't, we won't be doing that. All right, now let's grab our outlet thingamadoodle. And what we're going to want to do with this is... The power's in the front for both of those. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put this here. And we're going to grab the high voltage cable. And bring it out there. And then take it back around to here. Like so. And then we grab the two low voltage cables. Oh, it's right there. I'm gonna say, where's it at? And we plug one into here, and then that goes right into there. And grab the other one. Plug that into there, and let's bring this around this side. wind it up a little bit too because there's too much slack oh it wants to come around the front all right you know whatever that works that should work okay cool so we got everything hooked up now we need um we'll take that back over to the stream we need to put two buckets underneath here one for gold and one for the dirt that'll have the magnetite in it and there's another implement that we can buy that we can dump the magnetite in uh which we'll we'll be doing at some point um all right so this i think is just a spare bucket but we we need to take that back along with this to the to the first camp and the filter too Actually, we're going to drive over there, so let's just throw all this back in the back of the pickup. 
Okay, let's grab this filter and take it back to here. That's good. I'm just going to keep this other diesel over by the water pump for now. This can go in the tent. Leave it on the table. And that's that's it. That's all we need to do. Just gonna stick that right there. Okay, so um, let's go to sleep. And then uh, we will start mining in the morning. Interesting. So we only have to pay the 20% based upon the amount of gold we brought in for that particular day. Interesting. Okay, yeah. I, I, I think I see how what's going on there. Let's bring this bucket over here. Now, um, I think what we want to do is we want to be running the water pump and the power. So that way we can just keep filling the hopper until the bucket's completely full. So let's go ahead and turn this on. I'm just looking at the water pressure there. This is just kind of a spare bucket for now. All right, let's turn the generator on. And let's turn this on. It's already dumping stuff in there. Oh, that's just water. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, it looks like we're drawing 200 of 450. Just out of curiosity, if I turn this on. Oh, yeah, that blew a circuit. Okay, so yeah, we definitely can't run all of those at the same time. Very interesting. How much would, will this blow the circuit to? No, that one doesn't. Okay, so this one can do it. I mean, we're still not going to run it. There's no reason to. But it's interesting how that works. I'm just, I wonder if we should also shut the water off I can't seem to work that valve so maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't work that way okay because it is wear and tear on the jets and stuff um is that an actual it's a switch, but it doesn't let me do anything. All right, well, we'll just let it do its thing, and if it becomes apparent that these jets seem to be, you know, getting worn out real quickly, then we'll have to... Uh, that looks weird. We'll have to figure out a different plan. But, you know, we need to keep this thing running full time, and that, that's where we're going to get our maximum um, production going. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I think we're going to probably mostly stay in this camera mode. And let's get to digging here. Come on, we gotta, we gotta get down here. Wow, it does not want to dig in that dirt. Let's try over, try here. Hmm. 
you're digging in hard soil, you will break your teeth really fast. Find a better place to dig. Uh, how do I know that I'm in hard soil? Because it all looks the same. Well, okay. This kind of sucks. I don't think we got anything in there at all. All right, well, maybe this uh, wasn't the best plan place for me to set up. Tell you what, though, let's get into drive mode here. And let's change position and see if we can dig from here. Okay. You're digging in hard soil. You'll break your teeth really fast. Find a... Well, how the hell am I supposed to know what's hard soil and what isn't? Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. We have a little bit of dirt there. Not much. And we're out of range of our thing, too. Well, there we go. We got <laughs> we got a little bit of dirt in there. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Okay. I really liked my setup over here. Well, you know what we could do though? We could still leave everything where it is except for the uh except for the washer itself and move the washer out that way further cuz we got all the hoses and things. We're just going to have to run a long ways for the other devices or other implements unless we move those out too um all right well let me let's go out here a little ways i guess the first thing we need to do is find a place we can actually dig oh yeah you know what looks like i was just digging right down into the hard soil it's probably just not deep enough okay so let's try this Now, I didn't get a full buckalo, but at least it's not telling me yet we're in hard soil. Yeah, this is not efficient. All right. I'm going to have to uh, rethink this. So, I will be back after I come up with a better solution. All right, guys. We are back. Um, my hose didn't... Uh, uh, reach far enough uh, for this so I went had to go back to town and buy one of these little water coupler things and another hose so let's bring this back here and whoops and wind it up a little bit too and then connect that to there and then we connect this one to here and the other end right into here there we go. Okay, so I moved out far enough. I, I can dig here uh, with the backhoe. Uh, we're still on relatively level ground, so we just got to get our buckets in place, and then we're ready to try this again. So this is... Yeah, this is the main bucket. It should already have... Well, I thought it had like 2% in there, but maybe when you take it out... It no no longer oh no wait this is the actual gold bucket here okay hold on a second then this bucket is the one I think I had in the back so let's just stick this back here again a little closer 
Yeah, that should be good. There we go. We got our 2% there. And then this was on the other side. I don't even know if, if this works. You know, putting stuff here, putting a bucket here works and it collects stuff or not. So we'll we'll see. Okay, I think we're ready to start up again. Um, looks like our power is on because that's green. I turned the pump on. So let's get this going again. And now let's see if we can get some mining going here. Okay, I'm going to back up just a little bit here. Okay, we'll try that. And, oh, I actually have a, a full bucket in here, too. That should be good. All right. Looks like a pretty good load there. Yeah, I like our positioning here. I think we're good. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to keep doing this until we get a full bucket. I'll bring you back at that point and we'll see how much gold we pull in. Alright guys, let's go ahead and turn this off. We now have a full uh, bucket. And we also have 13.7 ounces of gold just in uh, nuggets alone. So it looks like uh, what you're shooting for is about filling this up around 20%. That's a good a good bucket load. Uh, so these buckets don't appear to have anything inside of them. So I guess uh, I guess maybe you can't do that or something. Anyway, this is the one we're interested in. So let's take this over here now. And the first thing we want to do is run it through the magnetite separator. So let's turn this on. And dump it in. So the magnetite is... I, I, I'm assuming captured in this dirt. And then I think we might be able to even clean that too. I'm not really sure. Uh, but the idea is that we then take that dirt uh, or that magnetite... The magnetite was finished, prepared, added 59 ounces of magnetite to the bucket. So I think that's added to this bucket here. And then what we can do with that is we can take it and um, put it in a, here, let's stop that. Put it in a uh, trailer and take it over to the factory. But but the currency itself is is spent on the blacksmith. All right, let's turn this on and load up the gold. See what we get. And that's it. Okay, so we got 4.28 ounces of gold from that whole cycle there. Um, okay. So there you have it. Um. As I get a little bit better with the excavator and so forth, um, you know, we'll be able to to probably do this a little faster. I'm still still a little, you know, just trying to figure stuff out here. But I guess the one question I have, though, is can we also clean the magnetite out of here? Well, it doesn't even look like there's anything in there. I'm not sure how that works. Let's just see what happens. Can we put this in here? It 
the wave table is finished processing the concentrate. But we don't have any magnetite in the upper right hand corner. So I don't know if I just wasted that or what. I, I don't quite understand what we're supposed to do with the magnetite. Um, could we look on the dig tube or dig tube? I keep saying dig, but it's dig tube. Uh, electricity, equipment score, gameplay settings, systems, maybe systems? Leaderboards, machine renting, order drills, reinforced parts, sleep systems, store sales. Machine store, other machinery. Gold nuggetator. Stationary fuel tank wave table. Here, let's look at this for a second. Tired of panning gold nuggets, invest in automate. Okay. It doesn't really tell us anything about magnet. Oh, here we go. Magnetite. All right. How to gather magnetite the most effective way. So put it in there. Start that up. So that would seem to imply there's a third bucket, the one that's currently at 3%. But where is that bucket at? Uh, okay, so it said we had, f we added some, uh, all right, let's go, let's do magnetite separator. It's such a waste to toss a magnetite back in the dirt. You can sell it. Okay. So they buy, they're buying the separator, right? Okay. Magnetite trailer. Learn how to transport and get rid of the magnetite properly. So that's the trailer thingy. Are you going to actually show us how to use it or... shows it over there okay all right using magnetite what to do with the gathered magnetite when expanding business so he's going to the factory and it looks like he's pulling over this little grate here Okay. So I guess what I still don't understand though is is the, the magnetite in the dirt bucket or the gold bucket? It must be in the dirt bucket because it wouldn't make sense for it to be in the gold bucket. So I guess we take that dirt bucket and we dump that in the magnetite trailer. Because there's only two buckets on this thing. And I tried to wash that other one, and it didn't give me any magnetite. It's just, it's not super clear is all. Okay. Um, does the journal tell us anything? When you have a magnetite trailer and a magnetite separator prepared, it's time to gather some magnetite. You can't just simply take the dirt and put it through the magnetite separator. There's not enough magnetite in the dirt to make this work. You need to process it through a hog pan or mobile wash plant first. The more dirt you process, the more magnetite will be in the output bucket. When ready, pour the processed pay dirt into a magnetite separator. Okay, where there is gold, there usually is magnetite as well. To maximize your income, you need both of them. Ways to use the gold is obvious. Extract it, smelt it, sell it, and you're rich, but the magnetite could be more tricky. First, you need to use a magnetite separator to separate from the gold. Then you have to pour it into the magnetite trailer and transport it to the factory. Pouring the magnetite there will add to your account. Don't confuse the separator buckets because you can't extract gold from the trailer if you pour in the wrong bucket. So that implies that it's the second dirt bucket that we need to be doing. Okay. All right. I think I understand that now. It just wasn't crystal clear to me. Um, all right, let's turn this off for a second uh, just to save some power.
And I think we're I think we're ready to to start up again for the next mining session. Let's put these buckets back here. Nope. Okay. Um all right, so yeah. What I'm going to do guys is I'm going to let you go here and I'm I'm going to just keep doing this. And I will bring you back at some point with an update on where we are. But, you know, we're we're working towards $510,000. And we currently have 18.054 uh, gold um, to our name. So I'm probably not going to sell every day. I'm probably going to spend a few days out here just getting a crap ton of gold. And then... You know, keep an eye on the uh, the stock prices, and then when we get a huge chunk of it, and this and the, it looks like the price is at least going up, we'll probably take it into town and sell it at that point and see where we are. Um, I am going to go buy that magnetite separator, or I'm sorry, no magnetite trailer, uh, in the interim too, because it, it didn't look like it was too terribly expensive, and that way we can also start saving that because that's going to also help us in the long run. But anyway, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.